reporting for Katie Chats here at the Real Gangsters press conference in downtown Toronto with actor Tony Rosato. How did you get involved in this project? Well, I got a phone call from Nick Mancuso mm -hmm. telling me that he was putting together a project and that it was in the formulative stages and that they'd want me in it. Uh, and uh, I was immediately taken aback. I was very flattered. Um, he said there's a meeting that's coming together with the producers and the writer. Uh, we'd like you to attend the meeting and so on, and you'll find out more about your character once you attend this meeting, and that's what I did. What really drew you to the character of Mario Rosato, other than having a similar last name? Well, Frank D'Angelo is a human being. Uh, when I met him, I was taken aback by who he was and the kind of power he has and the kind of vulnerability that he also was able to show. Uh, he gave me a book of who he was that he'd written, a who's who. Uh, he gave me some uh, CDs of his to take home and listen to. And by the time I got myself, you know, really caught up in who he was, I, I thought, wow, this is a great project. This guy is incredible. He's, uh, you know, just a powerful human being and uh, made it seem like something I really wanted to do. Yeah. And what was it like working with Frank on set? It was great. It was a little threatening. It was a little nervous at first. And I'm not used to someone being the director, the art director, the, uh, the AD, the second AD, the uh, you know makeup artist, whatever. He was wardrobe. He was handling my my wardrobe as I was on stage. Uh, everything. He was doing everything. So when you see that going on, you get a little nervous because you wonder whether there's enough attention being paid to every other category, and whether or not it's going to be just one big ego coming through and uh, it wasn't he was just so together and he was you know he has so many businesses outside acting that uh, he runs corporations he runs a uh, you know a brewery he runs has his own talk show and like I said he's had all these music albums put out so he's been on top as a leader a motivator for a long time so he really knows how to motivate a large group of people together at once and so it was very comforting after a while I became very comfortable in that. I thought, okay, he's taking care of me. I'll be okay. And what is at the heart of your character, Mario? At the heart of this? Mario's a very pleasant man. He loves Jack very much. Uh, he cares about everything that happens to Jack. Uh, while other people may be angry at Jack for his motivation, uh, Mario's not. Mario understands Jack's brooding very well. He tries to lighten him up at all times by being more personable with Jack. He brings in things from his garden, you know, uh, <laughs> homegrown things from his garden. He goes out of his way to make sure that his food is cooked precisely the way he wants it. And, uh, and consequently, he's always taking it out on people who aren't doing their job on behalf of Frank or Jack. Yeah. And what makes a real gangster to you? Wow, what makes a real gangster? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well... <laughs> A certain brooding sense of violence is one. Um, a code by which they respect and live by, which seems to be kind of intrinsically intense family cohesion. You know, a family that sticks together under no under uh, no scrutiny. I mean, they just for they just uh, they're very powerful. They're very controlling. Uh, they're very dangerous. They can be very simple and sim seem like a very regular, normal person to you, mm -hmm. but the, the slightest ill at ease for them might end up in your death. So uh, that's quite a difference in most human beings. Yeah. <laughs> you don't expect someone to go that far and say, oh, I think I offended him, he's going to kill me or have me killed. Mm -hmm. um, in, in the real gangster, real gangsters will do that. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a very high sense of level of a sensitivity and uh, if it's ba you know, bantered around or if it's uh, damaged in any way whatsoever, they get even. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what is the importance of Canadian film to you? Canadian film is everything to me. I just wish we would be making more of Canadian films here. Uh, the money is such a difficult thing to come by in this situation. So few projects can able, are able to get off the ground, but I'm happy to see the ones that do. I wish I was in more of them. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, no, I'm, ha I'm happy that the scene, you know, has a life of it still. I'm glad that the TIFF Festival is here and that uh, movies are, are able to be seen. And we have such a strong group of actors in Canada that I'm sure sooner or later that will become even more viable to everybody, you know. 
And where's the best place to find out more information on you and Real Gangsters online? Well, Real Gangsters, I'm sure, has its own website, so you can check its website. Uh, for me, you can check my own, uh, my money on the, uh, what, G Gmail, Tony, Tony Rosato, gmail .com, oh. 8910 gmail.com, 8910 mm -hmm. gmail.com. Um, I have Facebook, so you can call me there anytime you want. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tony. Congratulations. So it was nice you seeing on. you. It's nice to see you again. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Real Gangsters Press Conference in downtown Toronto.